Today, we are going to be balancing the equation of C2H5NH2 plus O2, which will give us carbon dioxide, CO2, gas, plus water, which is H2O, and then plus nitrogen gas, which is N2. I already wrote down our chart and all the elements that I see that are the same on both the reactants and the product side, aka the left and the right side. All we have to do now is just write down how many total we have. So let's start from the left-hand side. For the carbon, I see that I have two carbon. I'm going to write a two here. Now be careful. There's hydrogen here and there's hydrogen here. So there's a total of five plus two total hydrogens, which is seven hydrogens. For the nitrogen, I just see a one lonely N, right? There's no subscript, so that means that there's one nitrogen. And then for the oxygen, I see that I just have two oxygens here, so I put a two here. For the right-hand side, I see that I have one carbon, right? There is no subscript, so that means that there's one carbon. For the hydrogen, that's just on this side. There's two of them, so I'll put a two here. For the nitrogen, there was two nitrogen. And then for the oxygen, just be careful. There's oxygen here plus the oxygen that is over here. There was two oxygens plus one oxygen. So two plus one is a total of three oxygens. Now this one, the numbers are really all over the place, right? I see that I have an odd number here, seven. I, I can't times two by anything to get to seven. And yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get rid of this odd number by hopefully turning it into an even number by working with the nitrogens. This looks like it's the easiest type of balancing for me. I see that I have two nitrogens on my product side and I have one nitrogen on my reactant side. So work from the lower number to get to the higher number by multiplication. One times what will get me two, one times two, and that number is going to be the coefficient of the element that you're trying to balance. So in this case, I'm gonna put a two in front of this big compound. And now, if you put a coefficient in front of a compound, you have to distribute that to all of the elements in the compound. So all of these numbers are gonna change, the carbon, hydrogen, and the nitrogen. So let's do it. For the carbon, I had two, but now I'm timesing it by two. Two times two is now four total carbon. For the, hold on, let me just get rid of that. For the hydrogen, keep in mind that we had seven, right? Five plus two is a total of seven, but now we're timesing it by two. So it's two times seven, right? Five plus two is seven. So two times seven is 14. So I'm going to scratch the 7. I'm going to put a 14 here. And then for the nitrogen, just like we wanted, we now have two nitrogens. So that goes here. Now let's see. Let's balance the carbon. I have four total carbon on my left side. I only have one here. So one times what will get me to four? One times four. That number that we stated is the coefficient of where the carbon is on the right-hand side. So I'm going to put a four here. But you got to be fair. You have to distribute that four to carbon and the oxygen. So I said that we had four carbon. And now let's see, I have four times two total oxygens. So that's a total of eight oxygens, but there's one lonely oxygen here. Plus, so plus one oxygen, eight plus one is nine. So I'm going to get rid of the three oxygens, and I'll say that I have nine. Let's see. The next best thing to do would be the hydrogens. I have two hydrogens and I have 14. Two times what will get me to 14? Two times seven. Whatever number that you state goes where the coefficient is. So I'm gonna put a seven here. And then you gotta be fair. You have to distribute the seven to the H and the oxygen. So the oxygen is going to change again. So two times Seven is 14, that's what we wanted. And now how many total oxygens do we have? Well, let's see. We have seven oxygens here, plus the four times two. 
right? So four times two is eight, plus the seven is now 15. So I'm going to scratch all these out and say that I have 15 oxygens. Okay, now we have everything balanced except for this. So I have two oxygens on my reactant side and I have 15 oxygens on my product side. So I know that I have to put a coefficient here, but two times what will get me to the total of 15? Well, we can act this as saying X, right? And we can kind of solve for it, right? Two times X will be 15. Just solve for X divided by two and the number that you're going to put is 15 over two. So I'm just going to erase this. And I now know that the coefficient that I need is 15 over two. Now you might just, you know, call it a day there, but just know that you cannot leave a balanced equation with the fraction. So what you have to do, and maybe if I just get rid of this, what you have to do is multiply the entire equation by the denominator to get rid of that denominator. So whatever the denominator is, you're going to multiply it by that number. Since the denominator is two, I'm gonna times everything by two, which means that all of the coefficients are going to change. And you're just gonna take those coefficients and times it by two. So let's, let's do it. Oop. Maybe I'll just go like that. Perfect. Okay. So we have two times two. We now have a total of four of the C2H5NH2s. Two times 15 over two gets rid of the denominator. And this just turns into 15. Two times four is now a total of eight. So I'm going to scratch that. I'm going to put an eight. 2 times 7 is now a total of 14. And now there was no number here, but that's a secret 1. 2 times 1 is just a 2. And now everything should be balanced. So if I maybe, you know, scratch this off and I put 15, but all the other numbers would be now multiplied by 2. But you have everything good for you. So the final balanced equation would be four C2H5 NH2s plus 15 O2s yield eight CO2s plus 14 H2Os plus two N2s. This one is one of the harder ones, guys, because we had to do a little bit of algebra and then we had to multiply everything by the denominator. But if you guys can do this one, I know you can do many, many, many more balancing equation problems. Click the like button if this helped you. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you all in the next lesson. Good luck on all your tests and quizzes, okay? I'm rooting for you guys. See you later. Bye-bye.